you forget uh, Europe, you forget Tunisia, you forget Libya, you forget everything, and you think about how I will die. You know? This is the important question, let's say. When you watch left, right, uh, up, down, you, know, you see only blue sky and blue water. It was being many strong waves, and the boss, it's, it's full of water. And we ask uh, the driver, he tell us, if the weather will stay like this, we will be fine. If the weather has become more windy, I would say, well, I'm so sorry for you. When you see yourself so little in this vast, let's say, sea, uh, we think about many, many things. Why push yourself in this, in this dangerous um, adventure? It's not adventure, it's more. For this, uh, <laughs> I have to say thanks, God, a trillion times. But we are fine now. We are fine, but I not must forget this moment. I not must. Mohammed Munaidi is a 22-year-old Tunisian from a town which lies just a few miles from the Libyan border. After revolution and war erupted in both countries earlier this year, Mohammed's livelihood was destroyed. And like many other Tunisians, he decided to head north and seek out a new life in Europe. Libyan people from Benghazi, from uh, the west of Libya, they are uploading many video in YouTube, in, in Facebook, and we watch uh, horrible things. Uh, but we don't think it's, it's, uh, it will uh, come to our side, uh, understand, because our side is uh, safe. And, uh, but it's happened. I decided to, to leave. And I, I called some, someone who, who know it in Jerba. I give him uh, 2,000 bucks. And he, he take me to, to Italy, my both. This year, around 25,000 migrants have landed on the tiny Mediterranean island of Lampedusa. Although it belongs to Italy, Lampedusa lies only 80 miles from the tip of North Africa, making it a magnet for those seeking to reach the EU. Although some of the new arrivals are refugees from sub-Saharan Africa, the majority are economic migrants from Tunisia. When I put my food, let's say, in the port, I feel uh, like, like uh, I was born again. We wait there uh, nearly 15 minutes till uh, the police come and they, uh, they give us sample coverta. They give us the food and the cigarette and uh, tell us you can relax uh, tonight here. But it's not just one night, it's 10 nights. We make uh, a small uh, Camp, a small camp, we make it by uh, coverta and uh, plastic and, uh, and it's become fine. And we sleep there, not sleep, but uh, we talk, we talk to later night. Cold and hungry, you can never sleep, <laughs> two things. 5,000 people live on Lampedusa. Most of the island's income is derived from tourism. The influx of migrants and the initial lack of facilities to process and assist them has stretched local infrastructure to the limit and shattered Lampedusa's image as a sun-soaked holiday paradise. Finché c'erano i tunisini era prima sapere il culo perché bisogna dirle alcune cose. I tunisini non erano qua per avere assistenza o comunque loro dicono che c'hanno guerra. Sono gente pericolosa. Non che sono pericolosi nel senso perché non c'è risorse. Non c'è niente. Lo fanno per la fame. Lo fanno per la fame. Perché possiamo prendere cioè, delle malattie, perché non sappiamo chi sono, da dove vengono, se sono controllate dai dottori, cioè sono volati, sono volati così, capito? Che un'isola così piccola non può gestire tutto questo afflusso di, di migranti. Noi siamo pronti ad accoglierli, però se, vengono, se ne passano 22.000 nel giro di 2-3 mesi, qua è un po' difficile da gestire. So only we, we are waiting. That's it, waiting. Our job is waiting. 
With the island's two detention camps full to bursting, thousands of migrants were left to sleep rough in Lampedusa. Gradually, the Italian authorities began a transfer program, placing migrants onto larger boats and carrying them to purpose-built migrant centers in Sicily and on the Italian mainland. One such camp lies between the southern Italian towns of Manduria and Oria, in the region of Puglia. Inside the camp, uh, you can say nothing comfortable, as, as you know. But it's better than when you stay outside, that's it. And this is our tent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is empty bed. This is the bed for my friend. And this is another empty bed, because we are three person. Sometimes you, you can't sleep because uh, you're thinking. Sometimes you can't sleep because it have uh, many voices. It have uh, a person who play football in night, in midnight, sometimes in the uh, light of uh, street. All that maybe make you so nervous. So you don't feel that you are human, but you have to accept it. You have to accept it. The one sweet thing, which you keep it in your mind, that it's problem about days, nothing more. This is what we eat, ton and, uh, and salad. And this, I think, it's pizza. Yes. When I come to Lampedusa, I, I don't have a juice. So they, they give me this, and you can see what's the picture in this juice. Scary juice. <laughs> and... One lamp only work. <laughs> He's my friend. His name is. Uh, Amigo. Amigo. My friend. His name is Mohammed. Zbacha. Yeah. So nice and so. Let's say so handsome. So handsome boy. Bogus handsome. And this is another, my friend, another friend. Mohammed. Manjari. Manjari. Cool. I'll let you pursue his. It's a gift because I want to share everything with my friend. Uh -huh. He's like my brother. I share everything with him. And my friend, I love. Yeah. Viva l'Italia! Viva la Paris! Viva la France! Viva France! <laughs> Viva UK! Viva Europe! Viva Europa! Viva Europa! Viva Opa Viva Viva Europa! Viva Europa! <laughs> yeah, you see, it's much up. I speak a lot about money. Ah, then you all flow. I've been inside the tent and I'm now outside the night. The big tent, it's first restaurant. And this is the shower. Always it's cold. It's a shower only by name. That's it. It's broken, you see. It have mirror here. Mm -hmm. So you see, nothing work. Nothing. The migrants have been told that they are eligible for six-month temporary visas, which will allow them to legally remain in Italy and in theory travel to other countries within Europe's Schengen zone. Each morning, the camp officials paste up lists detailing which migrants have been given a visa. I woke up in 11, 10 sometimes. Uh, and I go directly to, uh, to the police office to see if, if my number is uploading or not. If not, you, uh, I go out, I smoke, and I wait the lunch. After uh, we, we take our lunch, we go to Manduria or Oria to drink coffee. Uh, that's empty day, so we have to f fool the <laughs> time. Uh, sometimes we walk, sometimes uh, we make stop, auto stop, to have good people here, yeah. Quel giorno che eravate in tanti qua, si sono affollati, quindi molti ubriachi, avevano bevuto tanto, avevano bevuto molto, molto. Allora <laughs> usciva là, mentre io prendevo qualcuno qui, l'altro sì, prendeva sì. qui e portava via. Me mio, io, no, tu, tu parla, gra... uh, scusa, mi sei scusa per tutto tu sì. Me... No, tutto. No, 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 tutto. Tutto. no, 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 qualcuno, qualcuno. Even the police in Tunisia is uh, looking for this, huh? 
Because the police in Italy will take them and take them to the police in Tunisia and tutto va finito. And then all of them are good, yesterday all of them are good, everything is good in these days. Look here, for example, they, they, they try maybe uh, to send a message to, to the Tunisians because they, they speak Arabic. Uh, they go to the internet and they uh, write, you can go in one by one, one by one, but in, in Arabic language they start writing from right to left, not from left to right like you're doing here. But it's okay, people uh, get understand it. So, uh, they're celebrated. I think they're celebrated, they make celebrating. No, not the carnival. Ah, so no, no, the passion. Uh -huh. Gesù Cristo. Sì, uno al giorno in tutti uh, gli anni. Uno al giorno. Uh -huh. Un giorno. Ah, ok. Non Completely said the music. Aurea diventi ricco tu. Diventi ricco? Ricco, vedi. Gesù. Ah, Gesù. We love Gesù. We love Gesù. Io amo Gesù. Ami Gesù. Ami Maria, ami Musa, Mohammed e tutto. Ma voi non credete a questa religione? Non siete musulmani? Io musulmani. Io Io amo Musa e Maria. Because Musa, uh, Jesus, 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 Signorita! You can see my face is so tired, not because uh, I don't sleep, not because uh, thinking. Because thinking and you see many bad things, many problems, many, always the same routine, you understand? Always, every day. Official information about the visa process is scarce and panicked rumours quickly fill the void. On the night of the 19th of April, word spread around the camp that officials were demanding a payment of 30 euros from migrants before issuing them the visas. ما عندكش 30 يورو ما عندكش فلوس قال لك تبقى في الكامب والداخل من بعد يقول لك عامل قضايا وعامل سيارات نيانتي ليبرتي لا بوليس لا ديو نيانتي سولدي نيانتي ليبرتي ونا كورتيزيا برا نون بوتي تستاري كوي دوبيت اناري دالالترا بارتي دالاسترال بركي كويستو كوي نون سي بو انتراري لا ستامبا نون بو انتراري كوي بوستو لستاري دالاسترال Can you confirm that it's the migrants are being asked for 30 euros to get on the bus? I cannot confirm anything, you know. So I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to release interview. That, no, no, we don't want an interview, we just want to do it. Yeah. I mean, they are all... Yeah. They are all yeah. 30 euros. Yeah. 30 euros. 30 euros. 100% racist system. It's racist. It's not good. They don't care about you. You have, you don't have. It's your problem. Huh? Go and kill, even. They don't uh, care. At a recent press conference in Rome, the leaders of France and Italy declared that the influx of migrants from North Africa was threatening the principle of borderless travel within the EU. Italy has now reached an agreement with Tunisia's new government, which will see thousands of migrants who arrived in Lampedusa after April 5th deported back to their home country, a process which is already underway. Meanwhile, Mohammed and 25,000 African migrants like him sit on Europe's margins, waiting for their new lives to begin. When I will be in Paris, and I stay with myself, maybe, and I think logically, and especially when I remember the danger time in Syria, 
sure I would say it's not deserve all this risk. It's not deserve at all. Because in C, I've been thinking and I say, uh, in, the, in the scary moment, when we are nearly die, I said to myself, you will look, Muhammad, you will die. All that cause uh, Europe, 